The Aerospace Controls Laboratory is researching the use of rapidly exploring random trees, or RRTs, for UAV trajectory planning in challenging environments. In this video, we demonstrate this approach through simulation results and flight tests in RAVEN, the lab's flight testbed. This is a two-dimensional view of a three-dimensional environment. The UAV is drawn as a green circled arrow representing its heading and size. The RRT samples a tree of possible trajectories looking for the best path, highlighted in red, that gets closest to the goal. The UAV quickly switches to a better path on the other side of the first obstacle. Once the RRT has found at least one path to the goal, remaining samples are used to find a shorter path. Note how the path is refined as the vehicle approaches the goal. This video demonstrates how the RRT responds to a dynamic environment. While the vehicle is still simulated, the obstacle poses are now being updated in real time from the Raven testbed. Though the vehicle quickly finds a clear path to the goal, the end of this path is ruled infeasible as a large obstacle is moved through the environment. The vehicle now tries to sample a new path. The vehicle finds an alternate path to the goal, which passes above the two leftmost obstacles, and begins to follow it. The yellow and blue spots represent emulated features from a simulated onboard vision system. This video shows the result of a Raven flight test under the same scenario as the previous simulation. The display window now shows the true vehicle position in real time. As before, the vehicle initially flies straight ahead. Once that path is ruled infeasible, it finds a new path that flies around the column, passing over the stool and by the chair. The blue path is the vehicle's reference input, while the green path is its trajectory. The planner issues waypoints to the vehicle controller. The vehicle controller's job is to track these waypoints as accurately as possible. When the planner expects the vehicle to have arrived at the goal, it is up to the controller to cover the remaining distance. This flight demonstrates the planner's ability to continuously adapt to a changing environment. As before, the large obstacle is moved to obstruct the path to the goal. The planner again picks a path around the column. This time, the obstacle is moved again, clearing a new path for the vehicle. The planner recognizes that this path is better and changes direction. 